Hello there everybody and welcome to my first character guide for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink and in today's video we're going to be talking about my main, Percival. So in these guides I'm going to structure them a specific way so that I can leave timestamps and you guys can jump ahead to whichever part of the guides that you want. So we're going to talk about general gameplay and what role they play in the team, what skills they have and which skills I would recommend using, their typical build and teams that they go in, as well as a singular advanced tip for each character. Now I'm not going to go into min-maxing details or anything like that because there are lots of people out there that already do it and I want my guides to be as approachable as possible for people who perhaps don't know the character and I don't want them to be overwhelming, so let's get into it. As the captain of the Order of White Dragons, which includes Lancelot, Vane, and Siegfried, Percival has a challenging personality, but his title as the Lord of Flame certainly doesn't go unnoticed in this game, where he brings the pain in various ways. So let's take a look at his general gameplay. So Percival's command list is actually super simple. There's not a huge amount of wiggle room or things you do apart from being on a linear path. So if you want lots of different combo trees, etc., then Percival may not be the character for you. But the combos he does have are extremely potent. So he has a, a charge attack with his triangle that you can use at the end of a combo and it will charge quicker. So Schlacht here will go two different charge methods. You pretty much always want this to charge up all the way. But if you just start charging it without using an attack, it takes significantly longer to do so. Whereas even if you break a combo halfway through, which he has four square attacks and does so that way, he still speeds up a great deal. He'll also speed up the charge of his Schlacht attack after using any skill that he has, and there is actually a way of circumventing this, which we'll get into later, or after a Link attack, which means that you can just interrupt your combos with Link attacks at any time, and you'll still get the full combo. Percival's aerial game is nothing to write home about, he just has a typical 3-hit combo, and he can also charge his attack while he's in mid-air. If you wanted to, you can let go of it and you'll get a slam attack, but you're typically just going to charge up for Schlacht anyway. Something else to bear in mind with the Schlacht attack is that you have super armor while you're charging. So Stout Heart, or as it's known in this game, it just basically means that while an attack will hit you, it won't knock you back and knock you out of the charge, so you'll be able to charge right through anything that's coming your way. Percival's role in the team is quite simply to deal a lot of damage in a short space of time, which realistically at endgame is most people's goal. But he does have some offensive support capabilities that not very many characters in the cast actually have, so let's take a look at his skills and what each of those brings. So re with regards to Percival's skills, we're going to use each of the ones that I personally use and I'll explain why I use them and then we'll go into the other skills and see if there's one there that you might prefer. So to start off we have Rota Verbal, which is a fire coil that just continuously deals damage over the course of time for its duration and you can continue to attack through it. So this skill just seems really strong to me like, and you would use it on cooldown at any given time or at the start of a rotation so that it's still dealing damage while you're using your other skills allowing it to come off of cooldown. Then you have marked which is a simple dash attack that you're able to kind of just dash through and get your super armor and also get your instant charge for schluck. You also get this from Vota Verbal as well. You then have Feuer and Griff which is just a series of slashes which does a decent amount of damage and also gives you your Schlacht gauge straight to maximum. So it's all very simple stuff. There's not much like in the case of like craziness you have to do to get these skills off. They just work. However, x Sealer is a particular skill I've become very fond of because status conditions in this game are ridiculous. It inflicts a Petrify, which is a special slow that also inflicts defense down. So if you're doing this while in going through combat or going through the story or any of that then you'll find the defense drop to be really useful but the slow is still extremely useful even at end game and defense drops are good for the party still even if everyone is looking at raising their damage caps etc because not everyone has perfect builds so it's something that's just generally good all around however the thing with Exceler to bear in mind is that it doesn't give you instant charge on Schlacht it's something you just want to bear in mind. Switching over to his other four skills, Percival has two buffs that he can use. He has Flam and Marsh, which is a straight attack and defense up for his party for 20%. Again, really useful while going through the game and getting up to proud mode, but once you hit that, you'll probably find that you don't need this as much. You also have a Trauma Eye, which is a singular buff to Percival that, as you can see, takes a little while to get going, but it also increases his strength equal to the amount of HP he has, so like a stamina buff from the sigils, but it also gives him supplementary damage as well on all of his attacks while he has this buff up. So supplementary damage, for those of you who don't know, is additional hits at a fraction of the damage you would normally deal, but in addition to any hits that you do. So to have that on every attack, especially Rotoverbal, is extremely powerful. 
but again as you get to eight late game you'll probably get supplementary damage sigils by this point or hopefully you will do and therefore you won't need this as much and then rounding me off we have Zeraisen, which is another dash attack that also instantly charges Schlacht, similar to the other one but this one inflicts the burn uh, status effect on the enemy so they'll take very very minor damage over time while they have the burn on and it doesn't last very long you could argue that you could put like life on the line sigils or um, no insult to injury sigils sorry which is additional damage to enemies that are afflicted with the status condition but I don't feel that the burn lasts long enough to really use this and when you get to end game that additional damage isn't going to be all that useful anyway which is why I don't use this. And then finally you have royal authority which is a massive AOE damage attack that also gives you the insta charge on Schlacht. There is definitely argument to be said for this ability I prefer to have the multiple slash attack and because I forget the name, well, it's not on my screen, but it's still really good. If you're farming like Slime Peed or anything like that, it's really useful. If you're against multiple bosses, then it could be argued that you could take this. But the reason I don't use it is because its cooldown is a little bit longer than I would like it to be. And I prefer just having focus damage on a singular target. In terms of build, I have Percival pretty much kitted out as much as I want him to be. There are changes you could make to the sigils like through leveling certain ones, but honestly, the thing to bear in mind with this game is while min-maxing is nice, it's very rarely necessary. This build has allowed me to farm Proto Bahama in sub 4 minutes pretty like just extensively and I've been able to get a lot of weapons through it and please don't expect me to max out every uh, Tempest we or Terminus weapon for every character because I won't be able to do that in time because it takes a while to get it going. But just, it's very, very simple with the kind of things that you want to do. You just want uh, Percival to deal damage. That's what you pretty much want from any character. But when looking at his legendary sigils, which are sigils that have unique capabilities to each character, you have two that come with him. You have Lord's Procession, which is boosting Percival's movement speed while charging Schlug and its damage cap. You absolutely want this 100%. And you also have Lord's Ambition, which restores a little bit of health and temporarily boosts attack power after a charged parry. So after you have charged your Schlacht ability, you can actually get parries off with um, if you time it correctly alongside the correct attack. And because this is so awkward to do, it's nice when it happens, but you should never like go out of your way to do this, or I've never felt the need to. So having the ability to have a little bit of health gain and a bit of unnecessary attack power come off of that, Honestly, you don't really need it. So if you happen to get a sigil with the movement speed buff, because that is massively beneficial to him, because it means he doesn't lose movement speed when he's charging it, you could just have that and another stat that's a bit more useful to you. In terms of teammates, obviously you can't pick and choose your teammates when it comes to online, but when you get the opportunity, I do like to double up on the crowd control element of Percival by having another character that has access to another form of crowd control because it will hold enemies in place for a great deal of time. So characters like Lancelot or Eo or Gran, etc., they can all do stuff like that. Or if you're playing through the game, I stand by my recommendation of Cagliostro as well, who has access to the crit rate attack and defense buff through Phantasmagoria, which is very useful. It does drop off a little bit at end game, but it's still useful for playing through the game with. Then other than that, just deal lots of damage. That's pretty much all anybody wants from you when it comes to end game. And then lastly, just one advanced tip that for people who know Percival want to get him to know him a little better, you can actually dodge cancel your skills in order to get the instant charge for Schlacht without actually using your skills. So if we use Macht as an example, if I activate it and then dodge immediately, I can charge up Schlacht without actually using the cooldown on my screen. And there's an example of the parry that you get from using it as well, because I messed it up earlier. So using this without actually having to worry about the cooldowns of your skills is really useful because it means you can get your instant charge Schlacht without actually having to go through the motion of doing the full square button combo. You'll still want to use it occasionally. You'll still want to use the square button combo because you'll want to be able to use your skills. Taking a skill out just to be able to do this probably isn't worth it but it's definitely something that advanced players will want to keep in mind. So last but not least, would I recommend Percival to players? I mean, yeah, of course I would. He's my main. I've used him pretty much throughout the entire game. He's simple. He's got high levels of damage. His Rota Verbal is just a wonderful asset to have alongside being able to just attack lots. He's not too complicated in terms of his advanced techniques. Like, he has one, but most people should be able to do it fairly frequently or just without difficulty. And he just does a lot of damage and Exceler is a wonderful asset to have on a character that can deal such massive damage. So if you're not sure on who to kind of play, then Percival is absolutely a character I would recommend. 
So that's a wrap on my first character guide for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Let me know what you think in the comments below, if there's anything that you feel that I've missed in this character guide, because obviously it's my first and I've taken the last few days just to play the game and learn about more of the characters as I go so I can give these guides to you in a much, much better fashion. I didn't want to just kind of throw one out without knowing what I was talking about, and I'm sure people will come for me and say I don't anyway. <laughs> but leave a comment below if there's anything else you'd like to know about future characters. And if you're not sure what to comment, let's not say algorithm today. Let's say... Percival. If you're not sure what to comment, just say Percival because any comment helps me out as a content creator with the algorithm. So thank you very much in advance for doing so. And with that, I shall love you and leave you. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying this content, then please do consider leaving a like and a subscribe for the channel so that you can keep up with any other GBR content. FF7 Rebirth is out soon. I can't wait to be making content, content on that. We have Lucilius coming up fairly soon as well, and I'd like to make content regarding that. There's all sorts of things that I want to make, so definitely do give a subscribe if you want to keep up with all of that. And if you're enjoying the content a lot, then perhaps you'd like to consider joining my Patreon through the link in the description box below, and you can get artwork made that's just for you, title cards that's made for you by myself if you wanted to join in and support the channel and I'm very very grateful to everyone that has done so already. So thank you all very much again and I shall love you and leave you till next time. Take care everyone, bye bye.